integrate x divided by the square root of x minus 1 solution. So when you see a problem like this, a good first attempt is to make a u substitution. So in this case, maybe we'll start by letting u be what's inside the square root. So we'll let u be equal to x minus 1. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get du equals dx. Okay, and so now we're kind of stuck um, because we don't have an x uh, here. We just have a du and a dx, and we need to figure out what x is. Uh, so one way to do that is to take this equation and solve for x. So we can add 1 to both sides. So we get x equals um, u plus 1. u plus 1. And so now everything in the integral uh, can be replaced with u's. So let's go ahead and carefully do that. So we have the integral. So x is u plus 1, so u plus 1. And then dx is equal to du, so we have du. And we have the square root of u. So we, we replaced x with u plus 1, uh, square root of u and du. Everything looks good. Okay, so now we can break it up. We can write this as u over the square root of u plus, and then 1 over the square root of u, right? Just breaking it up, and we have du. In order to simplify this, we can replace the square root of u with u to the 1 half. So this is equal to the indefinite integral of u over u to the 1 half plus 1 over u to the 1 half. Parentheses, parentheses, du. And now we can use properties of exponents, right? This is u to the first power. So we can subtract, right? So we subtract the exponents. So 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So it's u to the 1 half. And this one, we can bring it upstairs, and it becomes a negative exponent. So u to the negative 1 half. Parentheses, parentheses, du. All right, now it looks like we're in a good place because we can use the power rule for integration. It basically says you add 1 and divide by the result. So we're taking 1 half and we're adding 1 to this. So it'll be 1 half plus 1, which is 1 half plus 2 halves, which is 3 halves. So we end up with u to the 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. But when you divide by 3 over 2, you really multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 over 3. Plus, then we do the same thing here. We add 1. So we get u to the 1 half, and then when we divide by 1 half, we really multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 over 1 plus c. So this is equal to 2 thirds, and we said u was equal to x minus 1, I believe. Let me go back up and check. Yep. So all we do now is replace all of the u's with x minus 1s. So this is x minus 1 to the 3 halves, uh, and then plus 2 and then x minus 1 to the 1 half. And we still have our constant of integration, capital C. You could factor stuff out and make this look a little bit better, but I think that this is a perfectly okay answer. I hope this video has been helpful.